welcome to Stats Chat. My name is Dr. Zin Tui, and in this session, I will show you how to use G-Power software to calculate achieved power between two independent proportions, hence two independent groups. For the following examples, we will set the minimum threshold value of power equal to 0 0.80 and the maximum threshold value of alpha equal to 0 0.05. The power is the probability of detecting a significant difference when one exists. The alpha reflects the confidence with which you would like to detect a significant difference between the two proportions. Begin by launching the G-Power software on your computer. G-Power is a free download available from the internet. Move your mouse to the test family and select from the drop-down menu, Exact. Move your mouse to the statistical test and select from the drop-down menu, Proportions, inequality, two independent groups, Fisher's exact test. There are other statistical test choices for proportions available within G-Power software. A thorough discussion of these additional choices is beyond the scope of this lesson. Move your mouse to Type of Power Analysis and select from the drop-down menu Post Hoc Compute Achieved Power given alpha, sample size, and effect size. Move your mouse to Tails. For this example, select 2. If you wanted to calculate for a one-tail test, you would select 1. Move your mouse to the Proportion P1 box and type 0 0.5. This value is what you expect the sample proportion to be or found the sample proportion to be. This can often be determined by using the results from a previous survey or by running a small pilot study. Move your mouse to the Proportion P2 box and type 0 0.6. This value is what you expect the sample proportion to be or found the sample proportion to be. Again, this can often be determined by using the results from a previous survey or by running a small pilot study. Move your mouse to the alpha error probability box and type 0.05. Move your mouse to the sample size group 1 box and type 50. Move your mouse to the sample size group 2 box and type 50. Move your mouse and click Calculate. The G-Power software calculates power 1 minus beta error probability equaling 0 0.133 and actual alpha equaling 0 0.032. The post hoc achieved power is below the minimum threshold value of 0 0.80. Thus, the achieved power for this particular statistical test with the parameters of two tail, a proportion of group 1 equaling 0 0.5, a proportion of group 2 equaling 0 0.6, alpha at 0 0.05, sample size of group 1 equaling 50, and sample size of group 2 equaling 50 is insufficient. However, the actual alpha equaling 0 0.032 is less than the maximum threshold alpha equaling 0 0.05 value and is acceptable. Move your mouse to the proportion P1 box and type 0 0.68. This value is what you expect the sample proportion to be or found the sample proportion to be. Move your mouse to the proportion P2 box and type 0 0.45. This value is what you expect the sample proportion to be or found the sample proportion to be. Move your mouse to the alpha error probability box and type 0 0.05. Move your mouse to the sample size group 1 box and type 95. Move your mouse to the sample size group 2 box and type 65. Move your mouse and click calculate. The G-Power software calculates power 1 minus beta error probability equaling 0 0.805 and actual alpha equaling 0 0.036. The post hoc achieved power is slightly above the minimum threshold value of 0 0.80. Thus, the achieved power for this particular statistical test with the parameters of two tail, a proportion of group 1 equaling 0 0.68, a proportion of group 2 equaling 0 0.45, alpha at 0 0.05, sample size of group 1 equaling 95, and sample size of group 2 equaling 65 is sufficient. Additionally, the actual alpha equaling 0 0.036 is less than the maximum threshold alpha equaling 0 0.05 value and is acceptable. Move your mouse to the proportion P1 box and type 0 0.75. This value is what you expect the sample proportion to be or found the sample proportion to be. 
Move your mouse to the proportion P2 box and type 0 0.45. This value is what you expect the sample proportion to be or found the sample proportion to be. Move your mouse to the alpha error probability box and type 0 0.05. Move your mouse to the sample size group 1 box and type 80. Move your mouse to the sample size group 2 box and type 95. Move your mouse and click calculate. The GPower software calculates power 1 minus beta error probability equaling 0 0.982 and actual alpha equaling 0 0.046. The post hoc achieved power is far above the minimum threshold value of 0 0.80. Thus, the achieved power for this particular statistical test with the parameters of two tail, a proportion of group 1 equaling 0 0.75, a proportion of group 2 equaling 0 0.45, alpha at 0 0.05, sample size of group 1 equaling 80, and sample size of group 2 equaling 95 is sufficient. Additionally, the actual alpha equaling 0.046 is less than the maximum threshold alpha equaling 0.05 value and is acceptable. I am Dr. Zintwe and this has been a G-Power 2 Independent Proportions Achieved Power Stats Chat Session.